Hello, so I did a video like this years ago, but I thought it'd be worth doing it again. So the idea is basically using a camping mattress inflator style thing as a PAPR system. Now, this isn't ideal, obviously, compared to the real ones, because it's more likely to burn out and you have to adapt them to take filters. But it isn't as difficult as you'd think. So I've got two models here. This one, I didn't realise when I bought it, is actually only a plug-in model. I thought it was a plug-in and charge one, so I then bought this one, which is a USB rechargeable one which is meant to last like an hour or something. And the idea is that you use the adapters with them to sort of then glue in a filter port. So I'm not going to glue it in today's video, but I'm going to show you the basic sort of setup of them. Because I think if you really needed a PAPR in an emergency and you couldn't buy one, as long as you used proper like rubber sealants and everything to make them airtight, this would work until they eventually burn out because of the strain of pulling air through a filter, which they're not designed to do. But anyway, let me show you what I mean. So you'd have to glue a filter or even better a filter sort of adapter like one of these onto the top and then obviously as you can see when that's pushed down on here that is actually sucking air through the filter. Now this isn't really leaking much air how I've done that with a little seal there so that's working quite well and then it is blowing air out into the mask because I can feel it with the Tissot tubes. So let's give this a complete um, ghetto rig setup and I'll put it on and you can see it working. Now to test this setup, I've got this Sieb Gorman mask because this actually needs a decent amount of positive pressure to actually function because it's got a weird sort of exhale valve system where enough air has to build up before it will actually let you breathe through the mask or at least exhale properly without it fogging up. So here we go. Here's the rigged up system. Let me get the mask on. We'll turn it on and see if it works. So as you can see, there's the system there. I'm definitely using it as I've shown. The mask is starting to fog up because I haven't turned the PAPR on yet. So basically when I breathe out, only a little bit of air comes out of here because there's not enough pressure. So let's turn on the PAPR. I immediately feel cold air on my face. Every time I breathe out, there's constant airflow there now. Yeah, the valve's letting air out without me doing anything. So let's keep tightening this to make the mask more effective. Now, as you can see, yeah, the mask is now defogging because the PAPR system is actually working. So, yeah, that is, um, as said, all functioning if I do that. Yeah, it stops the airflow. So, yeah, if you actually adapted this properly until you burnt the motor out, this would actually create a proper positive pressure seal. Um, it's just like I said, the problem is you'll burn the motors out because they're not designed for sort of filtration use for long periods. 